All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the. Uh, we don't have a name for this yet. It exists. It does exist, and. Uh, well, look like, at that R. Look at that R. Let me introduce my. Well, let's introduce ourselves. I am Sean, Mr. L Sidekick of Film Field fame. And I am Peter, currently no alias and no fame, so I just merely exist. Isn't that right, Banjo? Alright, cut it, cut it, this is it, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> I yep, fucked it up already! We'll, Alright, we'll, 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 we'll do it live! Fuck it, we'll do it live! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is, this is a wonderful start. Banjo and Kazooie are just fucking having a great time. Wait, yep. that, what's the rating for this? Uh, this is rated... Wait, like, what are we talking about? Are we talking like ESRB? I'm not talking about Banjo Kazooie, I'm talking about our current level of speech, because I just said fucking now three times. Uh, but... Well, there, there goes, um... Well, we're gonna get affected by the ad apocalypse, I guess. Oh boy. Alright, sorry about the ad revenue. Yeah, so, hey everybody, this is a thing. We're watching this. This is Sean's playthrough yep. of Banjo Kazooie. Yep, I. I. Now, fun fact about this I mean, Banjo Kazooie is my favorite uh, game. And, um. Yeah, yeah, th this was. This actually happened. That, like, I don't know why it actually, like, sl the music sped up so much. Or either that or, like, the it slowed down. Uh, but anyways, Banjo Kazooie, one of my favorite games of all time, and I was like, Dad, let me record this, because I was like, I've always wanted to do LPing ever since I was a young boy. A young Shongling, oh, yeah. with a tiny beard and hopes in his heart. Yes. Um... <laughs> Hopes in my heart. Hopes in his heart. See, there he is. Look at that. Oh my god, that is a brick. That is a brick. Yeah. He did like a Game Boy. That is not a Game Boy. <laughs> uh, that, if you saw that flash of uh, Grunty's Revenge in the background there, uh, that, that was actually supposed to be um, a joke set in from original, but I never figured out actually how to implement it properly. So there's a painting behind Banjo in that file select thing, and I originally wanted to replace the painting with the box art for Grunty's Revenge for the Game Boy, because that's what he's playing a Game Boy. And I was just like, I couldn't figure out how to do it. I'm like, so it's good. I'll, ju I'll just just stick a, like a little flash of it right at the end. <laughs> nice try. Yeah. You know I'm not the biggest fan of Grunty here, but, like, what I gotta say is if I was an evil, magical being, I would also make my lair into a giant version of my face. <laughs> How about you? Like, I would just carve it into a mountain. I mean, 80% of it would be my neck, but it's fine. <laughs> you see, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not good-looking enough to have my face carved into a mountain. But then again, neither is Gruntilda. <laughs> See, but yeah, that's the thing. Once you're that powerful, where you can make that, like, with just, like, magic hand abilities, like, who cares? Nobody can call you ugly or they're dead. Does that matter? Ugly nope. or dead. Ugly or dead, you decide. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's how, you know, there's no witches or wizards in this world of ours, because they would have taken over already. Oh, I thought you were gonna say they would either be ugly or dead. <laughs> well, that's also true. Oh, man. And if you think about it, most politics today is ugly, so maybe they have to take it over. Yeah. Well, wow, there political. you go. Three minutes. How long? Oh, <laughs> not bad. Four minutes. Four, Four minutes, minutes in. Political. Four minutes in and we're getting either. political. Oh, look at him. He's wearing a vest but no pants, but she's wearing pants, so what's the rule? It, it's what's just weird. Does, does he look a bit like Carl Weezer, but a mole? Oh, my God. <laughs> He's not a fan of llamas, he's a fan of humans. Oh my god. Je oh man. Poor- oh, Jesus, poor Kazooie, just living in a bag. I, I, she's happy, she doesn't have to run around everywhere. She basically gets fed for free, and free living space. I guess so, but like, what if you're bored in there? What do you do? He's sleeping, you just sit there, you're like, I guess this is her exists. You, you, you wisecrack, that's, that's why she's angry all the time. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's so She's sassy. Like, I'm getting a free meal. I'm getting a free meal, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. Oh my god. And it always bugged me that this tiny little bear has like regular blonde hair and pigtails. Like, how does that work? Uh, well, I mean, look at Tiny Kong. Or Dixie, for that matter. Uh, fair, fair, I guess. But I guess also, why those do are they live across the street? Why did they live across <laughs> the street from that? I mean. <laughs> Uh, actually, a little bit of trivia. You see that painting behind Kazooie? Yeah. Of, of Banjo standing in the forest? Yes. That was actually supposed to be a level originally in the game, Fungi Forest. But it was scrapped and moved to Donkey Kong 64 instead. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I, <laughs> I thought you were going to turn that into a joke, and they cut it down. It's now a mall. <laughs> oh uh, well, they pr I mean, the last time we've seen that was 1990. A? I think it was I mean, Donkey Kong 64? <laughs> I could be wrong. Uh, future me, insert, uh, insert the actual date of release on there. Um, was, was that the actual date of release? No. Uh, oh uh, God, that, 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 that little, um... <laughs> it, were you talking about that little flash of that text? That yes. Uh, I, thought, I thought you were a tech wizard for a No, no, I'm not that good with timing. Um, oh, I, that, Quick, that was... Mr. Sean, edit in a bear. A real one. Now an address. You didn't do any of that, did you? Now I look like an idiot. No, 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 I, I, I'm pretty sure I did it. Ah, excellent. That's my wife. Her name is Barabelle. Oh, that, you have a lovely wife. I'm not a furry, she just happens to be a bear. Ah, I get it. No, no, there's no joke there, she's just a bear. <laughs> It's, she likes her own website though. You should probably check it out. It's called website. Oh, that, no, oh, no one will ever get that joke because we no, lost the footage to that. <laughs> it's just gonna be there forever, reference but never shown. Yep. <laughs> uh, unless, unless somehow I end up playing World of Warcraft on here again. If that happens, then I'm just gonna look up more random stuff. But I feel like to ever get that again, we're never gonna get there. Yeah. Oh my god. You know what? It, should we explain or not? We should just leave that open-ended. Uh, well, let's just say that this isn't the first time that Peter and I have tried to record things together. Oh this is, no, This is it about, like, over. the fifth try. Okay, let's see. There was World of Warcraft, and yep. that's a carrot. Oh god, that's a screen. Oh god, it's an onion. What is happening? Uh, I, we're, we're, gonna get, never... we're gonna get some extra health. Nice. I have never played this game, Sean. Uh, how much do you know about this game? That's what I wanted to ask. I know... Oh god, I think I watched part of some Let's Plays a long time ago. I have not seen this in forever, though. Oh, like, I have no idea what's oh happening. you are in for a treat. You'll oh, see that, why that, I love this there. game so, ma so much. It's, it's so just match. so much... <laughs> so much. So mad. So <laughs> mad. Foreshadowing. Uh -huh. Wait till we get to the final two levels of this game. You will oh, see no. why this is foreshadowing. Oh my goodness, Sean. Uh, yeah, look, look. Oh, I'm about to make it. There's that health piece. Yeah, Dang. there's a there's a one up behind the waterfall. Nope, didn't make it. Are we gonna try for that? Yes, no? we are. <laughs> I now see why this is quite the long video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? You just yell yeah, like the characters. <laughs> uh, I might have adopted the banjo. Yeah. Huh? Um, yeah, huh? after after watching so much of this game as a young child. Oh my god, we're never- <laughs> The bear's trying to catch the salmon for the winter, sadly, it will stop. Oh my god. I mean, you have pants, Banjo, so you're doing alright, but like, you're not gonna make it through the winter. That uh, bird is gonna he, be he had in a backpack. <laughs> he has a backpack. Yeah! Fair, fair, fair is fair. Also, look at the one-up. It's just a statue of Banjo. <laughs> he has a nice flex. Oh yes, he goodness. does. Oh, I love the underwater music. Yes, the underwater music in this is quite good. Underwater music is nice, but I think snow levels still win for me is my favorite thing. Oh, wait till you hear the Freeze Easy Peak theme in this game. Oh, it's, oh, it's one of my favorite themes of all time. That is, oh my goodness, I can't wait. I love snow levels so much. It's, hey, there it is. Yep. 
So do you have a guide here? Or you? No, I have John, this. Arm. Please. <laughs> a uh, bear I have, that can't swim. I have this all memorized about all the locations of everything and stuff. I'm good just not God. good at this game. But you've been playing it for years. I've I know I I've been watching this for years. I I only got the raw. Well, I okay. I have the cartridge. Um. I have the actual physical cartridge, and I've played that on my actual N64. Um, but I never played fully through the game until about a month before this was recorded back in April. Oh, good god. Yeah, this is... Oh god, nobody's gonna know what April it is, is it? It's April something or other. Yeah. You're, murder You're currently murdering these things, right? Uh, those are rocks. Yeah, but they had they, eyes. Yeah, they get they're just rocks though. Don, they had eyes. Rocks I don't it was live. Okay. Rocks lit. I am so sorry. You just offended multiple different fandoms at once there, Sean. Like the Frozen fandom, the Steven Universe fandom. There okay, are many okay, rocks first off, to care about. First off. Frozen fandom, the tr those were not rocks. Those just looked like rocks. They were trolls. Second they were off. rock trolls. They were rocks. Steven rock Universe. Are rock. Those are gems. Those are not rocks. Okay, okay, what about Reggie Gigas fans? Screw Reggie Gigas. He has too many G's in his name. I meant Reggie Rock. Why did I say Reggie Gigas? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think it's because a... right before we recorded this, we took a Gen 4 Pokemon knowledge test. Uh, despite both growing up with it and having it be our first thing, neither of us, uh, did very well on it. I think, what did we get again? Uh, I got like a... 60-ish? I think that would make sense. Let me go, you fat hag. Should we be reading this? Nah. If, 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 if you want a basic rundown of the story, basically, Grunty is jealous of a little girl being more pretty than her. Is and this, she kidnaps her to witch, take her beauty. Like, why does she have, like, magic... What is this? This is, like, she's going sci-fi She moment. She is stealing Tootie's soul. What? And her the beauty. Hell? Yeah. How does that work? Is that a quantifiable source? Is that an energy? <laughs> like, how does that work? Also... And if she's a witch, why is she using an electronic device? <laughs> also... Wouldn't there be a spell? <laughs> also, can I just... Can I just mention how... Like, we were talking about the whole, uh, base head being the mountain. Yes. I like how as soon as you walk into the base, there's just a picture of her sitting up on the wall. I mean, she's upset that somebody is prettier than her, but she thinks so highly of herself that she lives in a version of her own head with a portrait wait, wait, flat center in the room. Wait till you see how many pictures of Grunty there are spread throughout her lair. There are so many different versions of Grunty everywhere. Every each, each room gets a new version of Grunty picture. Oh my god. This is I'm kinda hoping, I'm kinda waiting for it. <laughs> um it depends on how much we record, because at least I at least want us to commentate at least up to Treasure Trove Cove. Because that, that. that is with that it has a good, good joke at the end. But, uh, if you want to do more after that, I'm fine with that. Oh, man. I feel like I want to commentate on the game, but I swear we're gonna just end up <laughs> talking about nothing, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, but that's the fun of this. Man, don't get at the door. I love how every one of her rooms in the castle appears to be, like, themed after a different world. And yeah. is this in the painting, like Super Mario 64, or is this, like, a place that exists? No, this is a place that exists. Then, what is she doing? What does she do on a day-to-day -day basis? I don't understand. Uh, she be she's extremely petty. That's what she does on a daily basis. <laughs> she's extremely... <laughs> oh my god, I forgot how much of a beak nose the Jinjos had. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is, is that a nose? Is it their lip? <laughs> it's a bone! I think oh it's like a bird! God. A ginger is oh, a bird, I oh think! Oh no! Please- Oh, thank god they left the screen. I don't think I could have done that. That was horrifying. Oh my god. Well, I feel like Kazooie would be drowning right now. Ah, uh, nah, she's fine. 
you, you keep saying that, but I, I think this might be indentured servitude or worse slavery. Oh, oh hey, look, look who it is. It's, a, it's another one of our. Oh, uh, the guy. Oh god, oh no, so much is happening. <laughs> the Momo tokens are terrifying to look at when they talk. Like, it, oh god, that was actually horrifying. And are you sure she's alright in there? Because that, yeah. that doesn't look big enough for like a crane or whatever it, she's. It, it's like the TARDIS. And also, she's a Breagle. She's a Breagle? She's a Breagle. That's the official name of her species. Ow, bull. Alright, sure, go. Cool. You do you, boo. this Congress tree, me hit bear with oranges. Dude, you got, like, fists that are twice the size of this thing. I feel that... like you should be doing something Yep, else. everything talks. See, even an orange. An orange talks. Okay, so how many oranges are being murdered right now? <laughs> Billy, no! For the honor of the tree! <laughs> um... Yeah, that this is surprisingly brutal. This, this is technically the first boss fight of the game. Oh, all right. Um, boss battle. Th th there, we do have another stage to it technically, but yeah. Wait, why? Why are we getting explained by the jiggy that we already collected? Yeah, that's weird. Why do you need a second explanation? And also, why does it sound like a mouse? It's a jigsaw piece. I thought for a second when you were talking about the mouse, you yeah. you were referring to bottles, and I was like, he's a mole, dude. That mice and moles are the same thing. Wait, bottles a woman? No, bottles is a guy. You just said she. No, I said he. Okay, I got concerned, because wear pants, you know what, it's fine for a cartoon character, but that was an open-breasted woman, and that's a little, like, raunchy. Even for this game. Oh my goodness. Uh, no, there, um, there, if you want to talk about raunchy, there is some secret stuff in here that are completely raunchy stuff. Uh, Things a bit slippy, huh? Where is this mole right now? Where the hell is he? Um, there are Everywhere. actually three places where he is. In, oh, this, right. in this level. Alternate timelines, or just fuck it? Um, I think it's all just one interconnected mole chain. Oh, you know what, that makes sense. And he's just like traveling underneath him almost? Yep. I'm down with that. Hey, quick question. How's depth perception in this game? Because you seem to be having a bit of trouble with it. Uh, it's not the depth perception, it's the camera. Yeah, no. I recently, uh, hooked up my Wii again. I feel like I told you this because, like, I mm -hmm. wanted to play some of the uh, virtual console stuff. Yep. And basically, I I don't know when this happened, but I put on my Wii and Mario 64 was on there. I checked it, there was one star collected and only one file created. What? So that means, for some reason, I downloaded Super <laughs> Mario 64 on my Wii, stopped using my Wii, and then forgot I had downloaded it. What? So I just plugged it back in, and I'm just like, this has been here for years, and I had no idea. I'm a little ashamed of myself, honestly. Jeez. Like, either way, I started playing it again, and I think the camera is gonna murder me. Like, I cannot- I Oh, no, yeah. I can get the, used to it. The camera is so, like, annoying in Super Mario 64. Like, I know it was revolutionary, but good god, it's- it is not fun. <laughs> also, you the see that orange Jinjo taunting you up there? <laughs> nah, he's having a good time. Wait, look. <laughs> Yay! Yay! No, I imagine it more like a- Yay! I, I, I was I was thinking more a uh, Kermit the Frog. Yay! <laughs> also, this oh, move that we just on. learned. She is not enjoying herself. <laughs> this move Ow. that we just learned, the Talon Trot, is the most useful move in the game. And it's like the first three seconds. Yep. Because so you move around like a maniac, and uh, you can climb up anything. Ah, so literally, yeah, that seems a little OP. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, is it? Okay, oh god. Ha this is like hurting. I don't even want to try to control this. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. There it is. What's a Jinjo supposed to be? Oh, it's a Jinjo. I think they're oh. actually kind of gods in this universe. It's, it's, I'm what's, sorry. <laughs> what's I'm, it, it, no, no, no. You can't just pass over something like that. They're no. gods. <laughs> 
So if I was an omnipotent being, I'd like to hang out on a random cliff space and be collected by a random bird carrying a freaking bear. You'll understand more once we get to the final battle of this game. Where, like, oh. the Jinjos call on, like, the power of the gods. <laughs> To help right, you know what? Let's grunting. say let's say they're demigods. Let's assume this is Zeus and he just had way too much to drink and, and there's a lot of children. And also the the reason why they're here is because Grunty put them here. Okay. They have no choice in the matter. They were kidnapped oh. and placed but, in these random spots. But like are you really kidnapped if you're just sitting on top of a ledge like slightly off the ground? Is that kidnapping? Um, yes. I don't think that's kidnapping. I, I think that's just relocation. <laughs> I don't I don't know I don't know if that's much of a threat. I mean I oh god. Alright, so do you prefer this game over, say, Donkey Kong 64? Uh yes, only because of this has a lot less collectibles. <laughs> Like, so collectibles I, I are to like... do, I plan to do Donkey Kong 64 eventually, and I'm dreading that day. Yeah, no. If you're 100%ing that... Go Which I am. Oh my lord. Because I'm gonna 100% every game that I can, and every game that I play, pretty much. Oh my god. Yeah, no, the, see, I'm a semi-completionist. It definitely depends on the franchise and the game, because some games... I could definitely complete and have, like, a fun time doing it, but mm -hmm. other games, like, for example, Splatoon or Breath of the Wild, would just be hell on Earth. Yep. 900 Korok seeds. Over yep. 900 Korok seeds. I- that just sounds like the worst thing ever. Also, I like- I like this, that you have to learn how to ground pound. Wait, so it literally just, like, hope. What the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for freeing me. I was in an easily collapsible hut. <laughs> and then the bird proceeds to eat the jigsaw peach. Alright, yeah. she's a slave. She eat this bird. I need a storage capacity. Please just let me out of the bag. No, swallow it. Oh my god. I mean, jeez. And there's just a random jiggy in that hut. Yeah. Right? Sure. Alright, I'm starting to notice that they all appear to be the same jigsaw piece. I mean, yes, are they there are. Any, like, are there any wall pieces? Nope. No. All right. E even though there, are... wait, actually, I can't. I can't remember if there are actually wall pieces missing from the portraits now. I mean, that's the same piece. I, I'm gonna say yes. Uh, well, we're gonna have to see. Well, once once we unlock Treasure Trove Cove, uh, we'll have to see. Alright, so this is just climbing ledges of the game at the moment. <laughs> yeah! That, that's oh, what Mumbo's God. Mountain is, really. You climb a lot of ledges. <laughs> There's a lot of ledges in this game. Only oh, in this world, though. Though. Oh, alright. Then never mind. Look, uh, I don't know much about this game at all. Like, I, that, that makes me so excited, because I love this game series so much. Because... I remember... Uh, oh, is your favorite Nuts and Bolts? This is the last episode you're ever going to be on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotcha! Okay, I'm going to have to admit. Nuts and Bolts is not a bad game. It's just not a Banjo-Kazooie game. Yep, I get ya. It's actually kind of fun and like, alright, it's a little empty, but like, it's not Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. I mean, I feel- I, I kind of feel honored that I was kicked out immediately. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Y you're rehired. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> you can't do this to me, please. I was almost I, free. I- I- I'm- I'm- I'm like, uh, Montgomery Burns from The Simpsons. <laughs> Remember, you're here forever. <laughs> you're here forever. Do it, do it for, for the kids! Do it for her. <laughs> do it for her. Yeah, no, it turns into you're here forever and then do it for her. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, every time I hear do it for her, I just think of, uh, Sworn to the Sword. Watch Steven Universe, it's a good show. If you don't like it, then don't watch it, never mind. I feel like that's, like, yeah. honestly with everything, though. Yeah. You like Rick and Morty? Watch Rick and Morty. Don't like it? Do not watch Rick and Morty. Yeah, exactly. If you like something, like it. Oh my god, it is so Carl Weezer, it's buggy. Yeah. Is it is this the third spin-off? They <laughs> This one's about this one's about Cindy, but they everybody complained that Carl Weezer wasn't in it, so he's a mole, but really just Carl Weezer. Wait like in Planet Sheen where they Wait, are you trying to tell Weezer. me that Tootie is Cindy? 
Sean. Look at the facts. Cindy's a bear. Judy's a bear. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Cindy is not a bear. Sean, everybody's a bear. Duh. Ever heard of Brother Bear or Little Bear from that one show which might just be called Little Bear? Oh, oh here, okay, here's boss fight part two. Moving on from that. Me safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. This poor gorilla. He didn't want you in his home, and then you left him alone after ruining all his oranges, and now you're just assaulting him. Hey, look, he still has a lot of oranges on that tree. Alright. I mean, how many? He just threw, like, 87. That's an exact number, by the way. Do the math, Sean. Future Sean, do the math. It's not 87. 87. It's, not it's 87. 87. Look at the number on screen, Sean. What does that look like to you? Because it says me, 53 it on like, screen. It does not say 53. It says 87. Look, take that 3, put it in front of the 5, add an extra loopy bit to the 3. Quickly take the 5 and, like, destroy it and replace it with a 7. Boom, 87. Also, fire trucks are red, so they're always rushing around. Oh, God, she swallowed seven jigsaw pieces. That's for jigsaw uh, she's pieces. gonna, she's gonna be swa- she's gonna have swallowed. Oh, yeah, that's what the pause screen looks like. Oh, God, that- <laughs> no, thank you. That, uh, that, 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 that's only from the emulator, though. How many heart attacks do you think that gave people? No, it, it all just- well, I, in the normal game, it's just the screen goes dark a little bit. Oh, okay. But, uh, I don't know why I, I suddenly got static. Alright, please, uh, Sean of the Past, do not run into that ant. There you go, you did it. it they're termites. They're definitely ants. They're termites. We Juju Mumbo's Totem Pole feed us with nice blue stones. Those are eggs. Oh, they're blue stones, technically. But are they actually stone? No. I. Sean, you need to do it again. No, no, no. You, we need one more down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Aim. Fire. There we go. They are not stone, Sean. They, they're. Uh, have you ever seen one of them hatch? You know, they could be unfertilized. Not every egg is fertilized, Sean. Then where are. Eating... Okay. If, if these are not stones, yes. what's happening to the yolks? The yolks are disintegrating because they're plasmophore eggs, and they disintegrate on contact with oxygen. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I pulled that out of my ass, but shut the hell up, they're not stones, they're <laughs> eggs.